so hello students uh, today we are going to start a lecture series on design thinking so uh, in the in this lecture this is the first lecture and here we will be uh, discussing about the basic uh, concept of design thinking okay some of the topics already we have covered in the class but again we have uh, all these things we will be doing here in online session also okay so uh, first thing is what is design thinking so uh, how can we define a design thinking? So design thinking is basically, uh, it's not only related to uh, design. It's no more uh, only concerned with the designers. It is uh, it is more than that. And it is being used nowadays in every, any, every walk of life. It is being used in business, different businesses. It can be used for solving the any environment related problem uh, in education in every walk of life it is being used. So first thing is the concept is very big concept and uh, here it is a uh, problem solving. The other point is it is problem solving skill and it is it promotes creativity collaboration and uh, the second thing is uh, uh, almost 16 years back uh, in 2008 Tim Brown uh, has uh, written an article, David Kelly and Tim, Tim Brown, they have written an article on design thinking, which is still there in, a, in Harvard Business Review. And uh, uh, so after that, it became very popular. And Tim Brown, you can, uh, I will give you references. You can go through the books of uh, Tim Brown. I have that in both the books. Uh, so uh, after that uh, process overview, design thinking, five stages, we will see that what are the five stages and important design thinking. Uh, so how it helps. So uh, it helps. I told you that it is uh, being used in every business or uh, like uh, in education, solving different types of problems. So it is uh, very much important nowadays. Okay. So, uh, so here, uh, key principle, the first thing is it is human centric. The same thing, uh, like uh, for last 30, 40 years, the concept of product design is completely changed. And uh, uh, human, now it is human centric approach. Next slide, we will be uh, discussing in more detail. Then it has to be iterative. I mean, it has to be not only once we just sit and just create a uh, product. So it has to be iterative. It has to be collaborative. Okay, so uh, like everyone should be on the uh, table. Everyone's uh, like uh, somebody from the manufacturing should also be there. Uh, somebody from the retail should also be there. Every, everybody should be there. Okay, for the designing, creative, and it has to be creative. It should not be like a conventional approach. Some new approach, some new creativity should be there. And it should be action oriented. We are just don't talk about uh, this one. We we try to implement it. Okay. So uh, so to give an, an idea about design thinking, uh, let's take one problem. I have taken from interaction design this website. <clears throat> so here uh, one problem was uh, this truck was stuck on the highway and because of the height issues. You can see here it was stuck in, inside the bridge and uh, the whole traffic jam was there, right? And uh, people were thinking the concern, people were thinking how to handle this problem. So what they uh, what they did was uh, they have, I mean, they were trying different things, but nothing working out. So finally they were thinking that it will be huge traffic jam. So uh, there might be, they might have to dismantle the truck, okay? But uh, the problem was solved when one, uh, one why he, he suggested that why not just take out the air from the tire. So that was a, I mean, uh, I mean, out of the box thinking, right? And the problem solved, uh, it was dragged. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, there was very uh, few <clears throat> uh, like uh, uh, distortion here in the, in the truck and it was, it, it worked very well. So this is the, this type of approach will be, uh, we will consider in design thinking. Okay, so uh, here uh, now next step, next thing is we will see. So five stages, next uh, topic is five stages in design thinking process. So we will see that what are the five uh, steps? 
So, but, but uh, again, you will see these steps, but these are not the linear step. Like first one is empathy, right? Then we have to definition of the problem, then ideate, prototype, right? So all these things are there, but it it, it doesn't have to be go in like, uh, uh, like in sequence wise, okay? So we can call this non-linear. It, it, it can be non-linear also. So, uh, so here, uh, empathy, then ideate, then um, here, uh, empathy, then define, then ideate, then prototype, and finally, testing. So these things can, I mean, it can, it's not needed that these things can go only sequentially. Uh, after the empathy directly, we can go to ideate. Okay, so this is about the five stages. Now, now let's discuss it in detail. So empathy. So first one is empathy. What does this mean? Suppose you are creating a product. So first thing is you have to understand your user, the customer. You have to you have to put yourself in the user position, and then only you will be able to create a very uh, good solution. You will be able to design. Uh, your design will be very good, right? So this is the, this is called empathy. And we are, when we are call, uh, talking about empathy, uh, uh, we have to, we can discuss one very uh, uh, like uh, relevant concept and that is concept of user-centric design. So, I mean, these things are connected. So whenever user-centric design, Don Norman name of the, uh, like uh, Don Norman name is always there with connected with user-centric design. So he is the person who, is, who has written books and uh, uh, like and he has extensively he has discussed about user, how user centric design can help uh, to uh, i mean to make the uh, to make that uh, the product more uh, like uh, uh, to to take it uh, such that it can be more problem solving uh, product we can create okay so this uh, uh, i mean this approach is given by don norman and uh, first thing in 1977 uh, so the the uh, this user centric design concept uh, like word was coined, and after that uh, Donald uh, Don Norman because Don Norman so he he has in uh, University of California San Diego he has worked ex extensively on this one written the book also so uh, user centered system design and other books also the this book is the design of every everyday thing this book is also very famous. And he has, uh, you, you can find his uh, video, YouTube videos also. He has, uh, uh, so he has explained very well. Okay. So then second thing is define. So after uh, empathy, we uh, like we have to define the problems. So many problems in the world are not being solved uh, because the problem is not defined. It is ill-defined. So first thing is, if you want to solve any problem, if you want to design anything, first thing is we have to define it very well. What are the challenges, right? What are the things we we are going to uh, to aim to solve it, right? The third thing is ideate. So uh, like encourage a mindset mindset of radical uh, collaboration, creative exploration, generate a wide range of idea. So after this thing, after the problem is defined, we have to have the brainstorming session. We have to use different techniques, right? To get it uh, so that we can get uh, so like a number of ideas. And from that idea, we can, we can get the uh, uh, like some relevant idea and then we can start working. <clears throat> So then we have prototype. So prototype uh, before going for the actual product, what we do, we go for the prototype, right? So nowadays we have the uh, rapid manufacturing 3D printing. So uh, with the help of these things, it's very easy to uh, uh, to create whatever we are we have just we have discussed till now. So we can create one prototype. Okay, and after that, the feedback from the all the stakeholder can come, and then we can because it is uh, generally it is very low cost compared to the actual product. So then we can make changes. Okay, so uh, this is prototype, and then test finally testing has to be done. 
so the product goes to the testing so these are the you know i mean it's uh, it's a very simple concept we have to find the stages testing but again these are not it should not be like in sequence wise first we have to go for the empathy then uh, define and all these things it can be non linear this is called non linear also after the after the um, the first step stage we can go to the directly third stage also so this is the first lecture and uh, so we will soon we will uh, upload the second lecture also okay thank you